Greetings and salutations, my name is Eric and I have been busy. About three weeks, oh, maybe more weeks ago, we tamed up Ember Claw. Uh, and that video is actually my second best performing video of all time, which is absolutely amazing, thank you very much. But in the meanwhile, I A, got COVID, and B, started playing Minecraft, but I haven't been just neglecting Ark. I've been incredibly busy. Behold, some Vectospinus. And you may be thinking, Eric, that's not a lot of Vectospinus for three weeks worth, because I have super boosted stats and whatnot. First of all, these are all the uh, Vectospinus with color mutations that I really like. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few of them. Uh, but that's not all. That's not all at all. We have super boosted rates. So one thing I wanted to try, since this is a super modded playthrough, is mutation potions basically these bad boys uh mutation potions are really cheap and if you feed them to your dinos they have a guaranteed chance of having the mutation uh like so you do the 20s for like stats and whatnot and then you can stack them and whatnot but i actually really like the 1x potion oh, i don't have one on me to just feed them all to my uh dinos have them breed up and then they're all going to be guaranteed mutations and it's a good way to just farm up colors for stuff and things so i know some people aren't a big fan of it but like well, stuff and things yeah but one thing is i bet some people like if i were to not say that people would be like oh you must be cheating so i'm like okay might as well tell you right off the hop <laughs> that i'm using something that's pretty powerful but that's not all over here we have four soul 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 oh Oh, the names disappeared on them. Anyways, here is all the Breejects. And these are just the ones that I liked and got rid of. And then over here, we have our uh, army of Spinos. Yes, uh, level 321 Spinos with 20 points into health and melee. Uh, let me just pull out one of them. They all have the same color scheme, which I'm absolutely a fan of. Pull you out black and red spinos so i got the black on the spine too which is sort of similar to that so it's i i, I like how these turned out i like how these turned out a lot eh you're, you look a little dopey when you're low low poly but i like it so these guys are pretty freaking strong yeah they all still need to be leveled up so that's why they're just hanging out in the soul terminal for now yeah, so we have, uh, I believe it should be 22 Spinos, but we're only going to take 18 of them into the fight because we're going to bring either one or two Vectospinus to buff them up. But that's going to be for the Alpha Boss fights. In this episode, oh my god, this is going on so long, I just realized. In this terminal, we have Maraxes. Do you see that right there? Nice. I went a little, little overboard. These are unleveled, level 408. Maraxes with 42 uh, mutations into health, 40 into stam, 40 into weight, and 40 into melee damage. So let's show off how these bad boys look, eh? I'm quite. I like. I like these. I like these a lot. Royal purple, eh? Uh, let's go into photo mode and check this uh, out. Come on, come on. I, I I don't know. Like I like the black and the purple, but I feel like the black on the face isn't very cash money you know i don't i don't know where i was going with that but yeah I, I like how these guys turned out they're incredibly powerful even without levels they, they still need to be leveled up a lot out of the hop oh, 18 and a half thousand health and 676 percent melee damage with 5200 stam and 1584 weight absolutely nuts absolutely nuts so in this episode i have to uh, like level them up a bit more uh, yeah, you were in here. And then just here is, uh, oh, this was supposed to be the Vector Spinus. I guess I got rid of them. So, uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to combine all the colors that I like with these guys. I think I'm going to go with like a blue and green look. Oh my god, who would have guessed? Uh, level up the Maraxes. Oh, oh, that reminds me. I've been also using the Imbue and Upgrade Station a little bit because up in here, up in here, we have. Uh, so I upgraded the Maraxi saddle to Ascendant 180 armor. They're pretty expensive, but in the grand scheme of things, only the expensive part is that, uh, 1000 metal. And I've been just going on metal runs in my downtime and we have a bit there. Not, yeah, it's going to take a while for 18 saddles, 18,000 armor. Yeah, that, that's rough. But one thing I did was a 175 armor journey craft journeyman spino saddle, which actually isn't that expensive at all. Like that cementing paste is a little bit, but like we can get that in no time. So I, the reason why I left it as journeyman is because if it was Mastercraft, 
then you'd have to upgrade the armor after that. But then it being Mastercraft with the same amount of armor would cost more. So I think this is the best cost efficiency variant of it. And then we're going to also use our uh, crafting skill stuff and things on them. But I need to make like 20 of both of these saddles, which is going to take a very long time. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the... Actually, why would I? Because this is five more armor than that. What if I just get a, a, a normal Meraxi saddle and upgrade that? So yeah... Uh, I can't believe I uh, didn't think that through. Go me. But, uh... Oh yeah, we're gonna fight the Gamma boss today. I think that's what we're gonna do. So I guess the real question is, do we want to lose 40 armor for, like, triple the cost? I think I'm gonna make up these saddles first with crafting seals, because that's still making pretty good. And then in my spare time, I'm gonna work on getting the Ascendant ones up and running, and maybe even max them out. Who knows? Yeah, it's going to take a hot second, but just, just, just give me a minute. Yeah, we're using Meraxes today to fight the Gamma Bosses. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got confused there for a second. I uh, might as well whip up a Industrial Grinder while we're at it to help us get a few more resources. Uh, grind. There you are right there. Will you even fit on the boat? Yeah, we're going to be moving here in a bit. Crap. All right, screw it. You can block stuff because we won't have you down there for long. Uh, basically what it can do is it can grind up stuff and things into resources. Let me find a cool saddle or something. Now let's just take a random Ascendant Circle saddle, throw you in there, and grind it. Hey, that's 159 free cementing paste. Don't mind if I do. Plus all that hide, great for getting the saddles. Good, good choice, me. Good choice. Okie dokie, I've farmed up a crap ton of resources. So now if we come over here... And, okay, uh, Ascendant Gauntlet of the Artisan puts you on, crafting skills up, goes up to 400. Now, if we drink you, one of you, it resets all of my points into crafting skills, so we're at 1,180. What if we take you off and we put you back on 4,720% crafting skill? Okie dokie, artichokey. So, Maraxi's saddle, and we're going to craft up. A bunch of them. What are we going to be low on? Hide, is it? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go. And we're going to uh, do all these. And I am going to uh, show you guys when we're done. Because uh, crafting takes a very, very long time. Many unbearable hours later. A very, very long time later. Behold, 20 saddles. And in here, voila. 282, 134, 160... So it looks like they max out at 282. Oh man, having such high crafting skill is awesome. There's a couple in here that are pretty low, like this one, because that's because the uh, crafting skill potion wore out, but like 140 armor saddles is still really good. But uh, one more thing we need is, you know, artifacts, the important part. I'll take that, thank you. I was about to say, oh, I'll take you too, but the uh, artifact of the pack isn't spawning. Huh. Oh, I just had to run away and come back. I'll take you. Thank you. Gimme. Okay, I know I'm doing a whole bit here where I get them all real quick. So the artifact of the clever is supposed to be right up here. But good thing I turned around because it's way down here. Why are you not spawning on top of that cliff? That makes me real nervous for the other ones that haven't been spawning in either. Yoink. Thank you very much. I'm currently being pursued, but I will take you. Thank you very much. I freaking knew it. So I, I've been in this cave. Uh, this is my fourth time running it. I've been actually doing this. This was the second one I've done. I've done it every time between the caves to try and get it. And it wasn't spawning. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll try checking down here. There it is right down there. What are you doing down here, bucko? But I will take you. Come on. Thanks. And that is the last one. All right. And now it should be one M. And we just got to take all of them and level them up and put saddles on them. Uh, how much? 20 level? Yeah, I could. Yeah, these will easily breeze through gamma. Let's get up to... Oh, oh, that's so good. 20k? How about 25,000? And then the rest just go right into melee damage. Beautiful.
Well, that took a while, and it turns out I made up one extra. Okay, sure. 5F, you get to be spared. Oh, and I gotta heal up everybody first, too. This, uh, might take a hot second. Alrighty. Ah, uh, the moment of truth, they're all leveled. And just remember, these I actually haven't even done a damage test yet, which I love doing normally. So if I put all you in there... Ah, uh, there we go. I uh, Gamma boss fight. Uh, I should be fine. I saved the game already. So 20, level 438 Meraxes. Uh, this should be a cakewalk. Fingers crossed. The reason why I overprepared so much is because I'm a coward. Yeah, I'm absolutely petrified right now. Fully puckered, you could say. Teleport in nine seconds. Oh, man. But this means we'll be able to get elements so we can get tech. Well, I wonder how much damage these guys do. It's good. Hi. All right, let me just hop up on. Okay, six mail. You're going to be. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Neutral. Who's going to get here first? Yeah. Both at the same time. Both at the same time. Get them, boys and girls. Oh, my God. That's a lot of damage. Why are they doing? What are you doing? I said. Oh, they're raging. Oh, okay. Wow. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Yep. yep. Mm hmm. It looks like they're healing up just as fast as they're taking damage because of the heal infusion. Oh, I got the achievement. Expert survivor. You defeated the Ark's second boss. That's awesome. Okay, now get the Broodmother pretty, please. Get it. Yeah, get it. No, I, I don't know what I'm, I'm getting in here. Yeah. That, that is a lot of damage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And look at all the numbers. Oh, beautiful. And we got the other achievement. Veteran Survivor defeated Ark's first guardian. And Survivor of the Center, you defeated the Guardians of the Center. Oh, nice. Okay, everybody move over there. Because, because you dropped a green supply crate with a bonus 40 element. Yes. And you also dropped one with a bonus 20 element. Yes. And one of you guys has bonus, um, what word am I thinking? A bonus. Actually, let me pick you up, pick you up. Uh, uh here it is. Backpack of justice. There should be two. Does anybody see the other one? I'm going to pick you up. Uh, uh, Nanoa's accessories drop, um, from bosses guaranteed. Did we only get the one or did, okay. I don't see another one. We're returning in 30 seconds. You had fun over there, buddy. Hello. Yeah. Uh, do we lose our stuff when we, uh, do, uh, you take all my stuff. We're back and we're alive. Beautiful. Um, now you guys did great. But I'm going to have to pick you all up to find which one has the element. Oh, why don't I have any soul balls left? Oops. Are you... What are you? You're nothing? I just realized why the other accessory didn't drop was because I didn't take part in the fight against it. Which makes sense. I wonder if I'll still get the element though. I'm just going to pick all you up. Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Actually, if I can just like bloop, bloop, bloop. And one of these will have element in it. If I can find it. This sucks. So I'm just looking and it looks to me like we only got that 60 element. Unless I'm missing something. Because I, I turned off the grass so it could be easier for us to find the loot bags. And I got all the loot bags, right? Like, I know just... I, huh, I was expecting a bit more. But it's okay. Oh, I hope I didn't miss anything. Womp womp. 
Well, this episode may have been a little bit different, but uh, I thought it was a blast making. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to use the Spinos and the Vecta Spinus to take on the Alpha Bosses, so I have a lot of cave runs in my future. Yippee. But uh, these guys are freaking amazing. Uh, so one thing before we finish this off, I pointed out was we were doing what? Was it 540 something damage? So that means when they all had their heal infusion on, they were healing for over 54 damage per bite. And if they were hitting multiple things, that's multiple heals. Like they're all still at full health. Like not, not, not even missing a single health, which is nutty. Oh man, that's a lot of Maraxes. A, a, a pain in my Maraxes. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, and then we have a couple bosses from Hyper's Extras I want to do, and there's just a lot of boss fights in the future to wrap things up before um, Aberration comes out on September 4th, which I'm really excited for. But uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye